Hi, I'm Ross Mars. Today we're looking at how to make an above ground wicking bed. In the last DVD we showed you an in ground version. This one is a bit different because you can put it onto concrete or paving. It has much the same as the other one with the uh, drain coil, etc., and the fittings to make sure that it spread the water, but it is sealed to hold water with a solid base which won't rust. And the idea of this is it can act as a holding water for above ground but also even for an aquaponics tank. Okay, like the other below ground wicking bed you need to have some way of draining the excess water. Over here you can see that we have a plug and a tap. So this allows you to regulate the level of water and if you leave it open it means that if it does rain excess water can be drained away. First step of course as before is to make sure you've got your drain coil on the middle and you're using your stone just to bury the pipe and fix it in position. Spread the soil stone so it's nice and even across the base and don't forget you still need to have your cap on and so you can take this off easily to, this is your water reservoir and of course it's nice it comes off easy so put the cap on when you're filling the stone in and that's your water reservoir access point okay as you can see we've put uh, enough stone here to the right level and we're just filling up the reservoir with the hose now you can put it into the uh, pipe obviously or really you can just lay it on top of the ground, it doesn't really matter as long as we get water in there to the right level it will overflow and the next step is to add the compost which we're going to put in in a second so we'll just get this hose going filling up the reservoir just keep it protective and then we'll add some compost right now Beautiful. Okay, so you can see the tank is full with lovely compost and we're ready to plant. We could put mulch on top, that's the next, the last phase. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is to check, make sure we've got enough water in the reservoir. Well, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Good luck with it. Okay, should just check to make sure the level is right bit of a leap so just the right amount of water in your reservoir you can leave that on of course if it's going to rain but we'll leave it off for the time being and that's it see you next time bye this is Ross Mars